Welcome, Ranger fans. I'm Brian Montgomery, joined today by head coach Chris Hill of the Jesuit Dallas basketball squad. The Rangers heading down the home stretch of the 2015 16 season with a pair of contests this upcoming week. Coach, uh, let's talk about the game on Friday against MacArthur. Easily one of the most exciting contests of the year so far. Both teams putting everything that they had on the court, uh, but MacArthur just having enough in the overtime session uh, to walk out of Walsh Gymnasium with a win. Looking at that game, you've had the weekend to kind of look over it. What did you see in that contest that really tilted the scales in the Cardinals' favor down the stretch? Well, our decision making is no brainer. I mean, we did we had some bad fouls, some bad turnovers, and some bad shot selection. Um, all three equally bad, and um, you, you're not going to beat teams like that if you do that. So defensively, I thought kept us in it. Uh, we made some shots here and there, but for the most part, I thought we gave that game away. You know, I thought we should have won it. I thought we put ourselves in a position to win it, and we just didn't close out the way we needed to. Talk about that defensive intensity, especially in the second half. For you as coach, I was to see the, the team never have that quit attitude and have that grittiness on the court. It is. It's, it's kind of an uneasy excitement for, for a coach cause to have such a, a group that's so competitive and – so fearless, but it's almost they're almost too not scared. You know, where they'll we'll, we'll, we'll take some risks with some passes and take some shots that we probably shouldn't, and do some things that are you know there's a, there's a better idea out there. But but you know that's probably why we've won some more games too, and we've even been in some games because of that attitude. So then it's it's tough to get younger guys to turn that off uh, when things get tight. You know, when they to, to turn off the attitude that got them there. When it's tight, when things get tight, we just got to keep getting better at it. You know, luckily we we still have three games to learn from it and, to, and grow and make sure we're in position to run, make a run in the playoffs. So, and then looking at the beginning of this week, uh, on Tuesday kicks off with a road trip uh, to Carrollton to take on R.L. Turner, uh, a, a team that the Rangers were able to handle pretty well here at home a couple of weeks ago. How do you approach that game, especially after something that happened on Friday, having that kind of a loss, and make sure that it doesn't keep up with the team as you had on the road. Well, hopefully we can just keep looking forward. Like you know, we've done a pretty good job. The kids have done a pretty good job of that all year. Um, you know, the focus needs to be on getting better, getting better, getting better. And so, um, you know, it's got to be the same thing. We, the the goal has got to be peaking in the playoffs, trying to get second. That's the best we can do. So let's do the best we can and make sure we're playing the best we can at the end of the year. And then on Friday, the Rangers are going to take on Sunset here at Walsh Gymnasium. Uh, but it will be senior night. You're going to be honoring several seniors who have made such a massive impact to the program. Uh, if you don't mind just taking a little bit of time talking about the the members of this Ranger squad, such a massive career for these for these young men. Talk about them a bit. Yeah, this has been a good class. I mean, Rusty Landon, Ben Kanazik, Sean Regan, and, and Alex Riley, the student assistant, have just been um, invaluable in, in, in their commitment and, and everything they've done. And uh, to be honest, I think they've all really overachieved in terms of what I expected out of them when they were freshmen. And to only have three players, you know, Alex was pretty much a shoe in As a, I mean, he's the first person I've ever moved to varsity as a freshman. I, as soon as the freshman year was over, I told him he could start hanging out with the varsity guys. Uh, but those other three guys, I mean, there were 24 freshmen in that class. Now there's only three. And, these, you know, the, the fact that they stuck with it and, and really what separated those guys was their commitment to the system, you know, and how we try to do things and then try to do things and play basketball the right way. And they've, they've done a great job of that. So, Hello, Coach. Thank you so much for joining us and best of luck to you this week. Once again, the Rangers taking on our old Turner on Tuesday on the road before coming back to Walsh Gymnasium for the final time in the 2015-16 regular season against Sunset, that tip-off scheduled for 7.30. PM. And as always, Ranger fans, be sure to keep it locked in at JesuitRangers.org for all of your up-to-date Rangers info.